a good morning to all of you in this class we are going to discuss about representation or expression of gradient divergence curl and laplacian operator in cartesian coordinate system by using orthogonal coordinate coordinate system in our last class we have been discussed that how the curl linear coordinate system is very much essential to represent cartesian spherical and cylindrical coordinate system in case of cartesian coordinate system the e1 cap e2 cap e3 cap the unit vectors will be i cap j cap k cap in case of polar or spherical polar coordinate system the unit vectors are e r cap e theta cap e phi cap in case of cylindrical coordinate system the unit vectors are e r cap e theta cap e z cap we have been discussed and previously you can also watch the uh, about orthogonal coordinate coordinate system we have been elaborately discussed but i suggest that before you have to watch today's video you just watch previous one okay which is most important right so let's we have to start today's content so it is well known that each point in orthogonal coordinate coordinate system that is your occs or uh, orthogonal coordinate coordinate system also called as the generalized coordinate system okay or generalized coordinate system is represented by intersection of three curves such as u function of x y z v function of x y z and w function of x y z as shown in the figure whatever we have been discussed elaborately okay and corresponding unit vectors along the tangent for u e1 cap for v e2 cap for w e3 cap unit vectors along tangent to the curve u v w from the point of intersection this is the point of intersection that is your named as p this things already we have been discussed and these unit vectors are perpendicular so hence it is called as orthogonal coordinate coordinate system now for cartesian coordinate system whatever we have been discussed in our previous class previous class here uh, here the u curve can be a straight line which will be the parallel to the x axis v curve will be another straight line parallel to y axis in this uh, occs coordinate system and uh, w also a straight line so if this straight line is a curve then tangent to this curve itself this direction that means its unit vector will be i cap and j cap for v curve and for w curve which will be the perpendicular like this will be k cap perfectly we have been discussed in our last class okay so hence for cartesian coordinate system u which is the function of x that is u is the function of x u will be will be considered as only x that means the curve is the straight line right similarly in cartesian coordinate system v curve which is the function of y will be written as v equal to y which is also curve or we can say the straight line w which is the function of z that can be represented as w equal to z which is the uh, which is also a straight line right so here these u v w curves are like this along this along this is the w along this is the v right so corresponding unit vectors we can write easily i cap j cap and k cap but here we have to express the gradient divergence curl and laplacian in terms of uh, in cartesian coordinate system by using curl linear coordinate system because as we know that this coordinate system is generalized that means we can derive cartesian we can derive spherical and cylindrical from this coordinate system from orthogonal coordinate coordinate system okay so now now first we have to uh, find out expression for gradient in cartesian coordinate system so for that 
first we have to consider gradient in OCCS clearly I have been written now to find gradient in Cartesian coordinate system first consider gradient in OCCS already we have been found this one okay you can check your note I am going to show you you can check your note uh, gradient in term of orthogonal coordinate coordinate system here this much we found del phi 1 by h1 del phi by del u e1 cap 1 by h2 del phi by del v e2 cap 1 by h3 del phi by del w e3 cap same thing i have been written here okay let this is your equation number two and these equations collectively considered as equation number one right now here we have to find out the value of h1 h2 h3 in terms of Cartesian coordinate system right so h1 is nothing but this one in uh, in your OCCS in your OCCS orthogonal coordinate coordinate system h1 in general can be written as is written as del x by del u whole square plus del u by del v whole square plus del z by del sorry this is also u del x by del u plus whole square plus del y by del u square plus del z by del u square root over i will show you i can show you you just check your note whenever uh, we have been discussed this one uh, here we found that h1 is not nothing but nothing but del x by del u square del y by del u square del z by del u square uh, likewise h2 del x by del v square del y by del v del z by del v square and h3 here w w w square and it's a root over okay so same thing it has been written over here that h1 in general that means in OCCS is this one but in Cartesian coordinate system our u is x so here we have to put instead of u x instead of u x instead of u x so del x by del x will be 1 del y by del x this will be 0 and this will be 0 so h1 we can found 1 because del x by del x will be uh, 1 or you can uh, uh, say that del by del x of x will be 1 1 square root over will be 1 so we found h1 value is 1 similarly h2 here you can see that h2 value is what del x by del v square del y by del v del z by del v so instead of v if i will be put y then this term will be 0 this term will be 0 and this term will be 1 root over will be 1 likewise h3 also here uh, z z z so these two terms will be 0 and del by del z of z square root over will be 1 so h2 and h3 also we can found that 1 and 1 and e1 cap for cartesian coordinate system e1 cap will be uh, i cap e2 cap that means tang uh, uh, this is the unit vector along the tangent for v curve so here v curve is nothing but y so obviously it will be j cap and for w curve that is your z so it will be k cap so e1 e2 e cap e3 cap transform to i cap j cap k cap considering cartesian coordinate system now the equation number two that means this one here we have to substitute the value of h1 h2 h3 and e1 cap e2 cap e3 cap u v w here this will be x y and z so what will the gradient we can found so del phi will be nothing but here you can see this will be del this is one one into del phi by del x this will be i cap this will be one del phi by del y j cap 1 del phi by del z k cap same thing it has been written this one so this is the required expression for gradient in cartesian coordinate system now we are going to go for the expression for divergence so to find out the divergence in cartesian coordinate system first we have to consider cartes uh, divergence in OCCS already we found that uh, in OCCS divergence of a vector field is nothing but this one 1 by h1 h2 h3 whole into del by del u of a1 h2 h3 plus del by del v of a2 h3 h1 plus del by del w of a3 h1 h2 you can check your note previously we discussed this one okay now 
by considering above results that means here we have to substitute the value of h2 h3 uh, h1 h2 h3 value here h3 h1 this is 1 1 this is also 1 1 1 1 this is 1 and u will be x this will be v will be y w will be z so divergence of the vector field in Cartesian coordinate system by considering OCCS will be how much this value will be 1 and this will be here h2 h3 will be 1 so del by del x of a1 here del by del y del by del y of h2 and this is w is nothing but z so del by del z of a3 so this is the required expression for divergence in Cartesian coordinate system by using OCCS now we are going to go for the expression for Corl in Cartesian coordinate system. So to find the Corl in Cartesian coordinate system, first we have to consider Corl in OCCS. So this is the Corl whatever we found in OCCS, orthogonal Corl in coordinate system. This one of a vector field, Corl of a vector field we found 1 by h1, h2, h3. This is in the matrix form that is your h1, e1 cap, h2, e2 cap, h3, e3 cap and this will be uh, del by del u, del by del v, del by del w, a1, h1, h2, a2, h2, a3, h3. Okay. Now, here we have to substitute the value of h1, h2, h3, u, v, w in Cartesian coordinate system, uh, w. So, in uh, in Cartesian coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate, the call in Cartesian coordinate system will be, see, these values in Cartesian coordinates we found here. Okay. 1 1 1 1 1 1 and this is i cap j cap k cap u is x v is y w is your z so here you can see h1 h2 h3 1 1 1 e1 cap is your i cap j cap k cap and this value is 1 so this will be 1 i not written here here i cap j cap k cap this will be del by del u means del by del x del by del y del by del z has been written over here Okay, so here h1, h2, h3 are 1, 1, 1. So a1, a2, a3. a1, a2, a3. So this is the required expression of call of a vector uh, field in Cartesian coordinate system using OCCS. So or uh, in this format also you can write the call of a vector field in Cartesian coordinate system. Simply see I cap and this like this del by del y of a3 minus del by del z of a2 first term minus this is plus so minus plus so minus j cap again like this so del by del x of a3 del by del x of a3 minus del by del z of a1 this one then this will be plus so plus k cap del by del x of a2 minus del by del y of a1 okay this is also another expression another way of representation of call of a vector uh, in Cartesian coordinate system which is derived from core linear coordinate orthogonal core linear coordinate system now we are going to go for the expression for Laplacian so to find the Laplacian in Cartesian coordinate system first we have to consider Laplacian OCCS this is the expression of Laplacian of a scalar function in OCCS this one 1 by h1 h2 h3 whole into del by del u of h2 h3 by h1 del phi by del u plus del by del v of h3 h1 by h2 del by del u of phi this is v mistakenly i haven't written this is v right this is v this is v del by del v of phi plus del by del w whole into h1 h2 by h3 del by del w of phi okay so here we have to substitute the value of h1 h2 h3 and u v w in this expression what we can found del square phi will be this value will be 1 so 1 del by del x del by del x this value will be 1 because h2 h3 h1 all are 1 so del phi by del x del phi by del x plus here del by del y the v is there so instead of v what we are we are going to write del by del y okay del by del y uh, whole into whole into this is your del by del v of phi so instead of v we have to write y this is y 
ओके डेल बाय डेल वाई डेल बाय डेल वाई y of phi this is your w so and here is the w so this will be del by del z whole into del by del z of phi so del by del x of this one can be written as del square of phi by del x square this will be del square phi by del y square del square phi by del z square so this is the required expression of laplacian uh, in cartesian coordinate coordinate system cartesian coordinate system okay so watch carefully this video and write down the note and ready for the next class next class we are going to discuss about representation or expression of gradient divergence curl and laplacian operator in spherical polar coordinate system using occs thank you so much for watching this video thank you